St. Peter's was emotionally overwhelming for me as well, but in a good way. It was really profound to see visitors kneeling and praying, and it was so beautiful and intense to see so many people have such a deep emotional connection with this church. My two biggest moments are tied between the Forum and the Kunsthausween. I am now fascinated with Underwasser and his art. I loved and appreciated his lifestyle and thoughts about art. A small but significant moment for me at the Kunsthausween was I read um, his explanation for having the uneven floors in architecture. His explanation was, if man is forced to walk on flat floors as they were planned thoughtlessly in designers' offices, estranged from man's age-old relationship and contact to earth, a decisive part of man withers and dies. Man's ability to experience seizes and he becomes disabled mentally and organically. For me, I remember I even took a picture of the quote. I thought it was insane. I loved it. I found his quote to be so intense and profound for me because before I even read his quote, that's kind of how I would always view societal norms and things in my everyday life and think about them as well. I experience and observe my everyday life and notice the things that are established as normal, such as the norm of working a full-time job for the majority of your life, or the established idea of automatic praise and respect for public figures, like just things like that, you know, like that we don't question why we do it. It's just a norm for us. We just do it. And not only that, but I feel like they're things that pull us away from being just self-reflective and authentic and caring about things that really matter and make us feel more whole. And so his quote specifically was so beautiful to me because it focused on a much smaller idea of people's natural connection in nature. So besides the art that I, I was obsessed with as well, even the photography galleries of newer artists, um, I was incredibly moved by Hunderwa Hundervoster's uh, intentions with his art and his life.